Welcome back everyone. Thank you for joining me again. I have some really great Christmas DIYs I can't, I can't wait to share with you. This first DIY I took these Dollar Tree bags, can you believe it, and the Dollar Tree frames and we are going to make spectacular, light, shiny, beautiful looking Christmas decor. So the first thing I'm going to do is take these frames apart and I'm going to trace out the bags. These bags were two for a dollar, which was a great buy. The frames are four by sixes. I got two of them. You certainly can, um, I'm not four by six, five by sevens. You can certainly use any size frames. I decided to go with the smaller frame. So now I'm just going to take the bag apart and then I'm going to start tracing it. They had all kinds of different bags. I decided to get the snowman because that's my favorite. Um, so now I'm just taking my pencil and just gonna edge out where, where I need to cut it and um, just a little piece because it almost was the exact size. I just gotta trim a little bit of it. So I'm gonna be using these fairy lights. That's the best thing to use. Don't use the big bulb ones because they won't fit in the back. So I just put the uh, image up by a light so I can see where I want to mark with my pencil in the back. So I know where I want to place the fairy lights around like where the snow snowflakes were. So now I'm just going to take my hot glue and I'm going to place down the fairy lights in the spot that I had penciled out. Although you get a better hold with the hot glue, it does take a little time because you have to wait for the glue kind of like to cool down before you can move on. I'm going to show you when I make the second frame that I use just basic scotch tape. So either way you have a choice. If you don't have a hot glue gun, you can use scotch tape. So I turn the lights on so I can get a better idea where I want to lay the fairy lights. It's up to you. You don't have to, but I, it makes it easier for me to see where I want to place them. These came out so amazing. I'm in love with these. I made like four of them and I have them all around my house. This is perfect if you want to like decorate a specific room or even in the living room where your trees are. They're so cute. All right, so once you're finished um, hot gluing or taping down the lights in back, then you're going to place this back into the frame. So the fairy lights uh, wire is going to stick out. So what I did is I kind of like made it go around the corner and then I'm going to probably just leave the, the fairy lights battery pack just laying in the back because nobody can see it or you can tape it in back. It's up to you. But look how cute it came out. It's adorable. I love it. So I'm going to show you how to make the second one, which is also adorable. Um, but I'm going to show you how to use it with the scotch tape and what I'm going to do is speed it up and I'm not going to talk much so enjoy the music. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas times We'll be chilling and having a good, good time Santa's coming to visit No, he wouldn't miss this In Christmas times oh. And here's number two, how adorable Okay, for this DIY, I took this Dollar Tree towel um, and the Dollar Tree cookie box 
and Dollar Tree little Christmas trees and also these little cute little people. I'm placing the towel over the cookie container. I'm tracing a little bit wider so this way when I cut it you won't see the black marker. So now that it's cut, I place it down inside and just place in some hot glue and that'll secure it down in place. I decided to use the Dollar Tree towel because it had the cute little snowflakes. However, because it's like tin and it's going to be very hard to paint it, so you can use cardstock if you like or craft paper. Now I'm going to be using this microfiber that I got from Dollar Tree, just to place a little bit at the bottom uh, to create the illusion like it's a little bit of snow. So I'm just placing it inside and then I'm going to cut the edges and hot glue it down. Now I'm going to be placing the trees inside. I'm going to place a little bit of glue with the green trees. Um, and then the tree that turns color, I'm just going to lightly place it inside with no hot glue because I need to gain access to the bottom to turn it on and off. I'm placing down the little people, just trying to figure out where I want to put them. Um, I do switch them around after. Um, I didn't like the way they were situated. If you don't have the lighted up Christmas tree, you can always use fairy lights or any type of lights from Dollar Tree or any other store. And how cute is this? And then I'm placing the front cover on top. And this is the end result. This came out so adorable. Dollar Tree uh, plaque and these Dollar Tree bags too for a dollar and I'm going to be using the white apple bear paint and some tacky glue. And I'm just going to be applying one quick coat of the paint. Now I'm going to be using one bag so I'm just taking them apart right now. I'm going to be using the one with the deer. So now I'm going to be cutting it out and then I'm going to place it on top so this way I can get an idea of how much I have to cut it so I'm just going to trace it out. So now I place it on top of the little bag and just going to take a little white marker and just create an outline so this way I know what I have to cut. Now the tree has a lot of these little wood globe um, MDFs for Christmas. You can actually do anything with them. You can paint them or you can use these little bags. That's a great idea. You can use them for your tiered tray as well. So now I'm using some tacky glue uh, for the back of it. I decided to use tacky glue versus uh, Mod Podge. I think it's a better hold. I don't know. Just my preference. But anyways, I'm just putting a little coat in the back. I'm applying a little bit of the tacky glue around the edges just to make sure that it's, you know, secures tightly around the edges because sometimes they don't uh, adhere very well. So I cut a, a strip off this microfiber that I got from Dollar Tree in the auto department and I'm just going to put a little hot glue and just wrap that around the bottom. I think it came out really cute, um, but I did add a little bit of fake snow and a little white ribbon, um, the Dollar Tree ribbon that I got, it was the white sparkly one. Just adding these Dollar Tree um, jewels, a strip of jewels, and just wrapping it around the, the base of it, just to give it some really pretty sparkle. So I'm adding a little piece. 
because that strip wasn't long enough. I think it came out very pretty and this is the end result. Okay, for this DIY, I took this Dollar, no, Dollar Tree. It's Hobby Lobby. It was on clearance for like three something. And I got these from Hobby Lobby. They're adorable. And I'm going to be using this puffy white paint and the black chalkboard paint and the red apple barrel paint. And I got these little peppermints from Hobby Lobby and also the little gingerbread from Hobby Lobby as well. And I'm going to be using these Dollar Tree letters. Um, this came out so cute. This is my favorite. So I'm going to have to paint this because I don't like the colors and the first thing I'm going to do is take the red paint and I'm going to paint the outside edges. Now I'm taking the black chalkboard paint and I'm going to paint the inside. I need to cover up those words. Now I'm going to be using these letters and I'm going to be placing down the word let's cook. Unfortunately, that's not what I wanted. I was in the middle of cooking dinner and I don't know why I had cook on the brain. It's supposed to say let's bake. I do change it in the end. Now I'm going to be using this white marker that I got from Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to dot all around the letters to give that outline look because once I remove the letters, it's going to leave a beautiful uh, dots, white dots behind it and you'll see in a minute. You can use this technique on any um, sign. If you don't have a sign this big, you can always go to Dollar Tree and use one of their pizza pans, or you can go to Walmart. They have the pizza pans for a dollar something, and they're black, so you really don't have to paint them as well. Um, and you can use gingerbread, um, little gingerbreads from Dollar Tree or Walmart. They have them for tree decorations. So now I'm going to be removing the letters and you can see underneath the dots of the outline of the letters looks really cool and that's what I was going for. I forgot to do the dots in the middle of the circle. <laughs> Doesn't that look awesome? Because it's a bake sign, I'm just putting a little more dots on the top and the bottom, like flour just uh, flying all around, <laughs> you know, because we're baking. Now I'm taking this white puffy paint that I got from Walmart and I'm just going to create some dots all around the top of the frame. Now I'm taking the gingerbreads and I'm going to take the tags off them because I'm going to be placing them down on the sign. So I placed them down on the sign where exactly where I want them so now I'm taking the hot glue and I'm going to put a little bit in back and place them down on the sign. Now I'm taking these little peppermints and I'm going to place two on the side, one in the corner and one at the top. Now I'm also going to be using these little gingerbreads, they're so cute. I got these from Walmart, I believe, or Hobby Lobby, one of them. I think this came out so adorable. It's almost like something you would see at Hobby Lobby for sure. Um, I'm, I'm impressed with it, how it came out, and I just love this one. And this is how it turned out. Guys, let me know in the comments if you like it.
Okay, for this DIY, it's going to be very quick and easy. I got this from Dollar Tree back when it was around Mother's Day. And I'm taking this blue tissue paper that I got from Dollar Tree as well. And I'm going to be using some fake snow and these pretty little snowflakes. Uh, what are they? Window clings. And I'm going to be putting some fake snow in there as well. And I'm using some tacky glue. So the first thing I'm going to do is take the tissue paper and take the back end of the frame and just trace it out. So now I'm going to be using some tacky glue and I'm just going to place a little bit on the back of the frame and then place the tissue paper over the top. Now I'm just going to be using one of these uh, little pretty snowflakes. I'm just going to grab one or two and just uh, put a little bit of tacky glue in the back and place it on top of the tissue. I'm just moving it around trying to get it centered. So I wanted to add one more snowflake, so I'm going to grab one of the small ones. Um, they are attached, so I just have to cut it. So I'm placing a little bit of tacky glue on the back of the snowflake and I'm going to place it on the tissue. So I'm going to be using some of this fake snow. I'm grabbing some. I'm going to place it inside that glass area and uh, that's going to give that really pretty effect once I put the backing on it. And um, quick and easy, something you can do with Dollar Tree products. And just, you know, you can put this on a tiered tray or you could place it on a shelf. I mean, I'm just giving you an idea of what you can do with these cute little uh, frames. Um, I'm just adding a little more fake snow. I thought it needed more. I think it came out very cute, fast, easy, inexpensive. Something you can put, a, put on your wall or shelf for your decor. And this is how it turned out. Okay, for this DIY, I took the Dollar Tree bag, Dollar Tree frame, and I'm just going to place the bag inside the frame and it's going to come out really pretty. So I'm just going to cut the bag first and then I will put the frame over the bag and trace it out. Now I'm just going to remove the backing from the frame. Now I place the back of the frame on the bag and I'm just going to trace it. Now I'm going to take my scissors and cut it out. When I seen this at uh, Dollar Tree, I thought it was very pretty. I had to grab it. Now I'm placing the bag inside the frame and closing everything up. And this is what it looks like so far. It's very pretty. So I decided to make a messy bow, so I took a bunch of different uh, ribbon from Dollar Tree, Hobby Lobby, and Michaels. And I'm just uh, taking out a bunch of pieces, and then I'm going to tie them together with some uh, jute twine. I'm also using some raffia, some red and green raffia. I'm just cutting some raffia, and I'm going to grab the red one as well, and I'm going to add that to my little uh, messy bow. So I'm cutting a piece of jute twine to get ready. So um, once I put the uh, mixture of the ribbons together, kind of like crisscross, and then I'm going to take the jute twine and wrap it in a quick knot. Now I have my ribbons in place. I'm taking the jute twine and just creating a little quick knot and tie it off and then cut the ends. I'm moving the ribbons around just to make sure everything is, you know, you can see all the ribbons and then I'm going to hot glue it. So I'm trying to figure out where I want to put it in the corner or in the front. 
Um, I do decide to put it in front so it looks, I don't know, um, what do you guys think, corner or the front? Uh, I went with the front. So I'm just placing a little bit of hot glue and placing down the messy bow. I think it came out really pretty. Very inexpensive, something you can make for Christmas for, you know, your decor. You don't have to spend a whole lot of money. Um, and this is the end results. For this DIY, I took this uh, Target Target Dollar Spot. I got this um, wood piece from, and then these ornaments, tree ornaments from Dollar Tree. I, took, I bought three, and then the Hobby Lobby craft paper. So I'm placing the wood frame on the craft paper and just uh, using my white marker to create an outline. Now I'm just taking my scissors and I'm going to cut it out. I had to put a piece of craft paper in the top area because it was kind of too short. So now I'm spreading out the tacky glue and then I'm going to place the craft paper on top. So I want to create like a snowy bottom for the tree. So I grabbed this microfiber that I got from the auto department at Dollar Tree. I'm just going to cut a piece out and um, place a little glue at the bottom. Guys, I buy these scissors from Dollar Tree and they don't work for nothing. I, I don't know. I went through three pairs and they're not cutting, um, I think I'm going to have to buy some scissors from Walmart. This is quick and easy, something really cute for Christmas. I took the Dollar Tree ornaments and tried to do something with it. I think it came out pretty cute. So I hot glued it down at the bottom. Now I'm going to grab the little tree ornaments and I'm going to place them down with a little bit of hot glue. Um, but before I do that, I'm going to grab some Mod Podge and place a little Mod Podge all around the tree edges so I can apply some fake snow. I'm going to do this on all three Christmas ornaments. Now I have the ornaments set up where I want them. I'm taking my hot glue gun and I'm going to place the glue on the trees and place them back down on the craft paper. It looks really pretty, very Christmassy. Now I'm taking these Dollar Tree beads and I'm going to string them across. Um, the trees have a little tiny hole, so I'm trying to actually camouflage the little holes. So I'm going to hot glue the beads to the corner and then kind of string them and put a little glue on the tip of the tree to the other end. I think this came out really pretty considering it's Dollar Tree products, little Dollar Tree ornaments. What do you guys think is the end result? That's it for this video guys. Thank you so much for joining me again. I do appreciate it. And if you did enjoy this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It helps my channel grow and I do appreciate it. Until next time guys. Bye bye. I can see them now.